All right, here we go. Another one wheel video on the channel today. I am taking on the great debate, which is not all that great of a debate, but going with the fender on or the fender off. So it never even entered into my mind when I got the one wheel to not ride with the fender on. Uh, you know, the second it came out of the box, slapped a fender on there. If you've looked at the uh, two other one wheel videos I already put up, there is a fender on the one wheel. Um, this is literally the first time I have taken the fender off and gone for a ride. Uh, I actually was like a super nerd and even jumped into the Reddit for one wheel and even asked other people, is there actually any noticeable difference with it on or with it off? Um, and I got some surprising answers. The, the most common answer is you want your fender on because it is going to protect you from all the gnarly stuff that the tire might kick up. But to that, many people also chimed in on the Reddit thread that the way they make the, oh, what they call the delete, which is the, not a fender, but it's still the framing around the wheel, that it's supposed to actually catch some of that nonsense and not kick it back to you, get all over your body. Um, the interesting thing that I read uh, on the forum was people talking about how much quieter the ride was with the fender off. And I've got to agree, it is noticeably quieter on roads, especially at full speed. Uh, like right here, we're cruising down a pretty big hill on the highway uh, as we head towards the park. And there is a noticeably different hum coming off of the wheel uh, than when I'm just cruising with the fender normally on. Uh, so that was very interesting. Uh, as I'm on this cruise, I'm trying to kind of catch sunset over at a park that's right by me. Uh, I kind of caught myself a number of times on this ride uh, looking down at the wheel and just thinking about how you have this uh, 14 mile an hour uh, spinning go-kart wheel stuck between your feet and there is nothing between your skin and that wheel other than uh, maybe a few leg hairs. Um, so I kind of had that in mind because as some people on that Reddit thread commented, if you know if your foot slips and you slam into that wheel, it's probably not going to feel very good. And I really don't know what the uh, the performance effects of that will be. Uh, just noticing right here how sick the one wheel is and can handle all this absolutely terrible pavement at full speed. Uh, just bounce over all of it and uh, no problem at all. Um, I didn't mention, but obviously this is a one wheel pint. Uh, I've got the camo rail guards on that my wife very uh, graciously put on for me because I'm absolutely terrible at putting stickers on. And I've got uh, that float plate on from The Float Life, which I've been absolutely loving because it's been giving me a ton more protection. And when I go into skid stops and stuff, uh, I actually slide a little differently and I kind of enjoy it more. Um, but I also just can never get over how uh, fun it is going over all these kind of bumps and awful pavement and just you know just bouncing around and it also just looks far more ridiculous when the fender is not on like you you can't argue with just how ridiculous this thing looks to begin with but then when you slap that fender off and you can actually see that much more of the mechanics of this working with that tire just rotating over and over and over um and somehow just using magic to help you balance uh it just it blows my mind every time. Um, continuing on in this ride, uh, this is now obviously like what four minutes, five minutes into the ride, um, and the, the one really weird thing that I noticed with the fender off is it almost felt like the board was like more maneuverable or more carvy. But I really think it was just because I kind of saw the wheel and was just having that much more fun with it. Um, I don't think there's actually any performance difference, but let's us all just take a moment to enjoy this beautiful golden hour shot that I've framed up between my shins and uh, the one wheel and just how much cooler it looks having that wheel free spinning, having the sun glare cutting across the wheel. It's looking awesome. Beautiful golden hour light coming in as I'm heading to the water. 
over here at Nessequag River State Park up here in uh, the North Shore of Long Island, um, which is actually kind of this campus of this huge abandoned psych center that they've never redeveloped because it'd be, from what I understand, wildly expensive to do and all the buildings are stuffed with asbestos. Uh, but they've now slapped on the name that it's a park and uh, you have just acres and acres and acres of property to kind of wander around in. Uh, so I am cruising all the way up to the top of the big hill. Uh, we're going to be able to catch the last of that golden hour sunset light bouncing off of the one wheel. Hey guys, obviously you might have even noticed, quarantine crew, everyone's got their little masks on if you see anybody out, because we are still in the height of uh, pandemic season over here in New York. Um, this is a fun little walking trail that they actually slapped on to uh, the campus, which is, you know, it's really nice after all that terrible pavement to hop onto something like this and just be able to uh, rip around with much, much better grip. Uh, so I certainly enjoy that. Um, and as I'm coming around here, a couple other dudes kind of give me a what's up. I give them a what's up. And here's the payoff. We're up at the uh, top of the bluffs looking out over the Long Island Sound. Over there's Connecticut. Over here is Long Island. And uh, beautiful sunset. And then the sun is down. What's left to do? But head back. Let's go shred some more. Uh, and get back before all the deer start creeping out. And uh, it becomes pitch black. Um... But yeah, I really enjoyed the uh, experience of taking the fender off. I'm kind of curious if anyone else has uh, or kind of bounced back and forth. My default position after this ride is the first thing I did was slap that thing right back on uh, because I've gotten more and more comfortable doing things like popping off of curbs, uh, which is also very important right now in New York because of social distancing. Uh, so if I happen to be on a sidewalk and I see a little group of people walking up the block, I got to get out of there and I don't want to look like a chump and have to, uh, step off and then pick it up and then walk into the street. So I've been figuring out how to jump off of curbs. But what I notice is, especially in the way I do it, my front foot very often will slip back and clip the fender and the fender is kind of almost like the backboard for my foot. Uh, so if that fender is not there, I would be trying to get away from a person jumping off of a curb and then looking like a total moron when my foot gets stuck in the wheel and then I fall on the ground. So for that one reason alone, I would 100% slap the fender back on. Uh, the more I'm on the Instagram and seeing all these crazy kids doing ridiculous tricks on one wheels, I see a lot of them are doing it without fenders on. Good for them. Uh, maybe one day I'll figure that out, but considering my track record on the one wheel and the number of times I wind up wrecking, um, you know, I'm not really interested in any fresh bruises right now. Um, but yeah, I still just can't get over how cool the look of it is um, in a video like this where you're seeing that wheel spinning just the whole time. Uh, and also let me know in the comments if the video quality looks a little better. I was playing with that Insta 361 R again using the 4K camera, not the uh, 360 camera. You can watch this video here if you're curious to understand why I'm not using the 360 camera anymore. Um, but using that action cam, I realized if I exported the video at a much higher bit rate, I could get a much cleaner video as opposed to the pixelated video that I was getting, uh, which is not something I've experienced with GoPro. But uh, it definitely, I think, looks, it looks much better on my side. We'll see what happens once it's on YouTube and uh, the algorithm and the compression has its way with it. But uh, before this ride is over, couldn't help but notice a hiking trail that I had never noticed before. And again, fun of the one wheel, just pop the curb, get into some gravel and just follow a trail and see where it goes. But so this is of course now the off-road test, no fender on. Everyone told me I was gonna get covered in gravel and dirt and rocks and all that stuff. This is single track. I just went over gravel. I'm now on single track. I'm in grass. And I, I'm in kind of intentionally uh, going on and off the trail just to see if I kind of feel anything kick up. It's been, uh, you know, this trail is relatively dry. Um, and you can see the tire very quickly getting super dirty. Um, but in this very short experience, uh, I noticed nothing popping up off of the trail. Um, so it really could just be the nature of uh, this particular trail and the speeds I was going, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't, I was expecting to have like dirt all over my leg. 
Um, also, note the kind of Knight Rider scene here with the little red tail light. Looks pretty cool. Gotta say, it's a great angle. Um, yeah, so I'm about to get back on the highway. Ride's pretty much over, and more importantly, I'm losing light, so the camera's not really gonna keep up too well. So we're gonna wrap it up just about here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got a one wheel, chime in. You know, are you team fender, team no fender? Uh, and let me know why. Um, I had a super fun time on this ride. and definitely gonna pop it on, pop it off, and uh, just kind of keep messing around with that. Uh, okay, so to next time. Enjoy, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. See ya. Girl, we getting faded over